Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Epic Epoch Podcast. This is episode 35, Elemental Penetration Does What? <laughs> I am your host, Perry the Pig. With me as always is my co-host here, Dread. Dread, and in today's video topic or whatever it ends up being, we're probably just going to talk about what we've been up to and then pick something random after because Perry's got a lot of things in his shoes recently. You know, a lot of things in my that. shoes. It's true. It's true. I got yeah. very big shoes. Uh, there's one very important thing to talk about at the very beginning of this podcast here. There is a build contest going on right now with mm -hmm. myself, Aaron Action RPG, and Vision GL. We are collaborating with EHG to do like one big build contest. The winner of this contest is going to have their build played by Mike, the developer, on his Friday stream in like a month from now or something. Like two weeks, three weeks from now, something like that. In any case, it's awesome, and I'm happy to actually collaborate with EHG, so this has been fun so far, and we'll see what kind of sweet builds we can make there. So that's going on, but uh, what... Can we talk about the p title of the podcast? Like, yeah, okay, like, what yes, have you been doing, what have I been yeah. doing, but what about what about the title of the podcast? We, we can talk about that first. Let's talk about that thing first, and then I'll ask you about your past week. So, Elemental <laughs> Penetration. <laughs> we've known for a while, in the world of Elemental... In the world of Rune Master, we've known that there are some bugs, some in the uh, runic invocation skill tree. And there's two things we knew very early on. One was the nodes that give you more damage. There's like the, the, like the very first two nodes out of the center of the runic invocation skill tree. Give you more damage based on this, more damage based on that. They don't work, they don't do anything. And the other thing that we knew was that the node that gives you elemental penetration per intelligence was giving you more penetration than you um, than it was supposed to. It's supposed to give you we one thought penetration. It was three to one in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's supposed to be one penetration per three intelligence, and then people were saying it was like one penetration per one intelligence. So it turns out that elemental penetration on that node is seven times stronger than it's supposed to be, and if my understanding is correct, this also affects all elemental penetration anywhere in the game. I, Just maybe generic. I it. I, I might be misunderstanding. However, it sure sounds like anything that has the word elemental penetration on it is way stronger currently than you think it is. It explains a few things that I've <laughs> noticed recently as well. You, you so. told me about the fire starter thing. What, what, what build was that? Yeah, so I was playing Ignite Glyph of Dominion. Oh, this was like one of the first couple of builds you I played. I was using a fire starter's torch, but I decided to want to use a transcriber's graver because everyone likes big AOE, right? And we were testing it and I was flabbergasted on stream. I was like, why is like transcriber's graver giving me better damage than fire starter's torch? Cause fire starter's torch is 40% more damage while transcriber's graver is like 22% pen. And I was like, wait, why am I getting more damage from this? I'm an Ignite build. It's like, that's that shouldn't be enough to, like, beat 40% more damage. But, yeah, turns out when it's, like, maybe, like, 140% penetration, yeah. Yeah, that, that'll definitely beat a Fire Starter's Torch, all right. And you were sure. you were benefiting in two different ways from this bug, right? I get three, yeah. oh, my God, three different ways from this bug? Because Igneous Rain was your Runic Invocation. Yeah, that was that a different build. Yeah. Oh, that was a different one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, there was. I played two different builds. I played. I played the Ignite Glyph of Dominion, which, by the way, even without the bug, the build is insanely strong. That doesn't okay. matter. It it didn't need that damage, by the way, at all. Uh, but then the Igneous Rain build I was playing with the invocations and stuff. That build definitely won't be good after the change. So and so I'm going to have to uh, take it out back. Sadly, there's a note in Rune Master's Mastery that says like elemental penetration, 2% per point, And then it gives you like a glyph of deception or something. Mm -hmm. You know, that node is, yeah. is that node bugged as well? Cause it sounds like it is. I don't believe it's bugged. I don't, you don't think so. It's bugged. I, I'd have to test it obviously. Cause we can't be sure anymore, <laughs> but like, I think it was just generic elemental penetration because you were correct about the frost claw one. Cause I, that was that one. Yeah, too. yeah, the cross claw idols, those yeah. wide things, like four by one idols. Like, if you put it on and off on your on your like, if you look at your tooltip, it's huge. You put it on and off, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember the old vengeance idols? How they used to give like more damage? Yeah. Oh, it's just, that like, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it was. Yeah, it's the same feeling. Uh -huh. It's okay. That build didn't really need the idols either, so it's like whatever, because like it was half void, half lightning anyway. Mm -hmm. So like, I was using them for mana efficiency to be honest. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of. 
It's just kind of weird that this is all coming out now. I I feel like as though Rude Master could have used a little bit more, you know, bug testing. It's it's fun. <laughs> I like it. It's been really enjoyable. No, but I, man, yeah, there's bugs just, in a couple places. My, huh? my problem with this is it completely. Like imagine imagine the Max Roll team and how they feel right now because like with like their setups with like specifically with like uh, Hydrohedron they're gonna have to not only redo that entire build they're gonna have to like make sure it all works functions properly once all the bug tests a bug fixes all and that. all their guides Making are written, written guides, guides too not, written guides are not fun to work on <laughs> like with a video if something fucks up I can just unlist the video and like we're good to go. Right. And I can just make a community post about it when they have a problem. They got to like completely regret the whole thing or just remove it entirely. And that's like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of work. Like it's it's in, uh, it's not their fault either. Like this is this is on EHG's fault, by the way, when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like it's not our fault that elemental penetration is multiplying our damage into infinity. Like like how are we supposed to know that? Obviously, you know, you're supposed to test it. But I thought I thought honest, my builds were just really good. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's like, I mean, the thing is, there's a lot of really good stuff. It's just, that's the problem is the game is in a state of balance where if something is giving you seven times its value, we assume it's normal because that's just the power gap between something that's bad and something that is good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good right? point. You try to compare one like, of these things to like acid flask, and you're like, yeah, of yeah, course it deals seven like, times yeah. more damage. Yeah, like it, it just, it's just like it's, it's insane. That that's why, that's why we're so acclimated to this when it comes to this because it's just like, yeah, it's just another day at the office. Oh, like, oh, like, uh, you know, frost claw doing this much damage and all that. Well, rune invocations crying in the corner. Eh, it's okay. We're used to that. It's not. <laughs> All right, so are we are we talking about things that we've done in the yeah, past week? You can go first this time. Yeah, in the past week. Things that we've done in the past week. I I just finished recording something today that was a little bit inspired by you, a little bit inspired by a build contest that I ran, and also a little bit inspired by somebody who's like a rank one arena person playing Rune Master with a bunch of ward. Yeah. And we've been playing a Mad Alchemist Ladle build it's got like very low flat damage but it's got cast speed per intelligence and a book a big more multiplier on it it's a wand i've mm -hmm. been combining that with spark charges the spark charge offhand a fragment of the enigma with lightning blast and lightning blast only has a 30 percent chance to apply a spark charge on hits but it also has like the double cast node and the quad and cast the 10 percent at the top uh, and the 10 percent from the Outfit. And the ten percent from the light yeah. from the um fragment as well. Or it's like twelve percent, ten percent. I can't uh -huh. remember. <laughs> and it's it's like it's just enough to feel consistent, and the damage is really good. I I'm noticed, I'm yeah. all in on this build. I mean, when I was playing my version, like not to butt in or anything, but like the damage was insane on single target mm -hmm. because I was using convergence. <laughs> yeah, so you you were doing convergence, so like you had a mana cost on it. I'm yeah. not using convergence on my lightning blast. Mm -hmm. But instead of having my lightning blast chain back to me, yeah, which gives yeah. me like e super easy crit cap and then like 400% oh, yeah. increased damage, it feels awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, anything oh. else you did you do this week or you literally just, just that that, <laughs> <laughs> that build and trying to, uh, uh, I guess, getting the contest set up here and then yeah. trying to get as much intelligence <laughs> on my character as possible. I knew that I was going to run some kind of contest this week, so I didn't want to start another build and then play one today, yeah. too, but yeah uh, man that build is like oh, I've, totally I've got all my busy. attention i have been busy as you may as well notice you've had like three different busy. build guides go up in the past week uh four thank you very all much. right what do you but, got so wait did we talk about no we talked about devotion last week right yeah we talked about devotion uh okay. devotion yeah the devotion so smite thing set up okay we did talk about that yeah okay so the first build i played so this is really funny so you kept saying about that guy on the arena like you're inspired by him i wasn't because I just found it by accident. Because what happened was I wanted to play that Ellie Nova setup idea with Elemental Starfield. And I was trying Mana Strike mm -hmm. instead of like using Lightning Blast. And turns out Mana Strike sucks when you're using a stupid ladle. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm just going to go self-cast Lightning Blast. And it all just went from there. So now, uh, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. <laughs> I can, but I'm curious to know what it is. Yeah. It's okay. They, they can't hear it. 
Okay, so with the, <laughs> uh, the elemental starfield build, essentially the idea is we're building around the node inside runic invocation, which hopefully it's not bugged. I don't know anymore. Uh, it casts one elemental nova per rune you have. So if you have tri rune, it'll cast three casts of elemental nova whenever you cast runic invocation. And then of course you can use flame rush to cast runic invocation for you to bypass the cooldown by immutable order, right? And all that means that, and I can set it up so Flame Rush gives me all three of my runes every single time I channel it. So whenever I Flame Rush, three Ellie Novas, three Ellie Novas, three Ellie Novas. And turns out when you have a 100% chance to apply Spark Charge on hit, that makes your clear feel absolutely phenomenal. And then you throw Ladle into that and you get the Lightning Blast for single target. That build by far, like I was cruising through 500 Corruption like it was nothing. It was like Spark Charge is so, one of my so, so good for clear. Don't I'm they? sure it's bugged in some way. We'll we'll have to see. <laughs> no, it's good. Don't fix it. It's fine. Uh, I don't think that one's bugged specifically. There's nothing that like. To be honest, I specifically went out of my way to not run like CFC. I did not run Twisted Heart. All I did was run the War Generation from the one node inside Runic Invocation because you mm -hmm. like like it was like six ward per intelligence whenever you cast a three rune combination, and. Overall, that, that felt really good. Like, when they nerf all the fun stuff, like, we still have other things to use. That's it's, it's really good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then after that build, um, I played Poison Aura Golem. So essentially the idea with this build is we're using the new Cycle Rings, right? Which have the, the 27 flat poison damage over time to minion spells. And that works with the Infernal Aura from Bone Golem, right? So you just need some that? kind of minion that's casting a damage over time spell. Yeah, like... you just need some kind of minion that's casting a damage over time okay. spell. And which Bone Golem does that with Infernal Aura. Then, of course, you can run Aura of Decay, Int Stack, reduce enemy resistances, stuff like that. And it ends up making the build viable. Because like when I played it back in the day, like when during the multiplayer invitational, uh, essentially... I could only get to like 200k ticks, which was not good enough, in my opinion, to make it a full build. But then now we're at like 400k ticks. We're fine. <laughs> it was like wonderful. It's amazing it how much that ticks. ticks three times a second? Yeah, it ticks three times per second at gotcha, 400k. Okay. But that's with like everything specialed up because like, mm -hmm. you have to sacrifice your skeletons and all that. But overall, the build felt really good. Uh, the minion transversal transport node is bugged in multiple ways i learned by the you way mean the, the node uh, in skelly mage or do you mean like the boot ethics? no the the affix the okay, affix gotcha. is not only is it making it is it, it's making your minions impotent when you use it it will make your minions not do anything so like for instance i've been playing up um like what is it called uh the the vine bear build and my vines they don't do anything after they get transported for some reason which is very sad uh and also as well that seven minions it transports or whatever it is it doesn't add with the one inside uh the skeleton tree it doesn't add on top of it or it just doesn't work at all because it just doesn't work like it wasn't working at all so i couldn't use that otherwise it would have made that build feel so much better <laughs> being able to teleport your entire minion horde with you every i was time i was teleport. almost excited to play a minion build of like this past month yeah. so, like as soon as i finished playing frost claw builds like eh, maybe a minion mm. build feels good if i can like pull them along yeah. with me or something but yeah, if it's bugs no what's going on about that and then the Ugh. the build i played the other day that was with wrong warp i was playing uh the sac uh, i was playing the transplant wrong warp setup where we sacrifice uh you know transplant in favor of ridiculous amounts of movement speed and i was getting well over 160 percent while also just completely deleting monoliths because like essentially what happens is you can turn on bone curse as an aura like it did with that one minion build and then you just run death seal and you just turn on the buttons and run that's all you do you don't have to cast anything it does it all for you and it's wonderful that build was great and of course you use rip blood and stuff for single target mm -hmm. and all that and with all the bugs finally fixed for bone curse it's not op as balls anymore which is great now well, I it, it, it might be bugged in a different way like oh boy what's that <laughs> what do know. you mean oh you don't i just know? mean oh, that just, i just mean that there's a lot of bugs in oh, this game at this point like it doesn't matter anymore it, it's i just given up on that every <laughs> every balance patch is just like a brand new game just like got to retest yeah. everything and see what's going on 
Yeah, that build was fun because it was essentially no buttons, run through monoliths. It was as close to Path of Exile gameplay as you could possibly get, which was. I, I feel like you're saying that a lot, like trying to make things into Path of Exile. Like, can we can we well, have like our own game? It's not just like Path. Of Exile. I mean, the reason why I'm doing it is because specifically, like I keep saying about how the the you know the what is it called the the objective rushing meta, uh -huh. it has gotten worse. It has gotten worse this patch because, like, guess what? Instead of trying to get all the objectives instead, now it's just monoliths per hour, baby. As much movement speed as possible, as many chests per hour. The chests are insanely strong, a little too good in my opinion. Because now you just go for chests. You yeah, just, you, just you know, chests. I've, I've got I've got an opinion on that. The chest, yeah. the introduction of the chest specifically, like Exile Mage is fine, yeah. whatever. But the, the fact you don't have to kill anything to <clears> open the chest, like what, like. I don't know. It's just like it kind of reminds you of like strong boxes from Path of Exile. Like maybe there should be monsters yeah. there. But the fact yeah, that the I chests agree. are so good at dropping a bunch of random exalted items really steps on the territory of dungeon farming. Like, mm -hmm. like farming, farming, tar farming tier four dungeons. Like farming floor number one, floor number two. Not even the bosses. It used to be a yeah. good source of just random exalted stuff. Yeah. If you were looking for in, it, in and now it's like just, day, just just go yeah. do timelines instead. Yeah, it, it, it's very unfortunate. And like I said, you want more chests per hour? Guess what you need to stack? Guess guess the thing you need to stack? Either cooldown for your transport skill or, you know, movement speed. Mm -hmm. So it, or, oh, well, we're not talking about the bug. We're talking about if the bug is fixed. God damn. Oh, <laughs> so the other bug? bugs. Oh, they're bug. <laughs> more bugs. More bugs. Reset bug. We're talking about the arena reset bug. The the arena uh, reset bug. I was just cluing in a member of EHG earlier today about what exactly this is. But the arena wait, reset they don't bug. Know? How I, it was it was know? there. It was there from day what? one. And this is like you walk into wait, arena and you can immediately see the entire map. That? Listen. Wait, how do they not know that? Listen. There's no way that they can't know that. Listen. That, that's. <laughs> I you, hope not. You, you open the arena, you see everything. If there's a box, you open it, and then you leave, and you don't complete the arena. So then you can do the arena again, and there's another box. So you open the box. It's like it's just total brain rot. Should not be in the game. Shouldn't happen. But I I know that there are people who sit in Twitch chat and watch my stream. They I probably know. watch your stream too, and they just like do arenas. And they're like, oh, I know, I, you know, I got a few of them. I, I got a hundred runes of ascendance this hour. It's yeah. like cool, dude. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, man. It's it's crazy. It was like, imagine how much stuff I could get if I just did that all day instead of making builds. That would be crazy. I would. <laughs> even if I weren't making builds and if I weren't streaming, yeah. I wouldn't do that. That sounds yeah, I don't so either. miserable. But my, my thing is, but the thing is, is like the the other thing, like I said, is the movement speed spamming for the mm -hmm. chess. It's it's not any better, to be honest, in my opinion. Like when I was playing the, the Necker, I mean, when I was playing the Lich setup with the movement speed and mm -hmm. all that, I'll be honest, that was one of the most efficient farming sessions I've had in months because chest 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 and it's just like oh yeah i'm just draining and i'm just like like i've had to buy more stash tabs on my saf account than on the normal one from really player. i've that's been buying a lot of stash items. tabs as well that's how many exalted items i'm getting poured with have, right have you like stopped, i'm running out of gold <laughs> have you stopped picking up tier six modifiers uh, not currently because it is a fresh account and I have I... a lot of builds to work on and also it's really good LP bait because the thing is what people don't understand is with when it comes to exalted items they come up with much higher amounts of forging potential mm -hmm. meaning that even if you even if you get an exalted item with a terrible mod it doesn't matter because if you ruin it for removal that mod guess what you have like an item with 50 forging potential go nuts right it's like uh, you need this specific item for this specific slot there you go because like sometimes when i'm making builds uh when i respec a character or like i level a character i don't need the best in slot i just need something functional mm -hmm. <laughs> like like if it's got a health earlier, regen suffix it's fine yeah. no big deal earlier uh I, I i think i sacrificed like six relics to the gods trying to get a relic for my like druid earlier like it i i go through it like it's crack it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm i'm, I'm not Ugh. playing solo account found i'm not like a brand new character yeah yeah so i've got like my I, whole I stash myself from, like, because i just wanted to I, but like I since like zero cleaning up my stash <laughs> <laughs> since 0 0.9 i've been playing on the same account and mm -hmm. it's just i I'm really close to just not picking up tier 6 modifiers anymore 
like vitality. It'll be much and... better once there's cycles and stuff. It'll uh -huh. be much better. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you don't have to clean up your stash. You just start over. Yeah. God bless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, ah. That's pretty much it. What I've been up to, I have a build in the pipeline, but I'm not going to talk about it yet because that'll be for the video. Interesting. All right. So what about elemental penetration? What about bugs? Yes. What bugs are you running into? Bugs? We, we just uh, talked about something a moment ago. We yeah, just we discovered can, that yeah. spark charges as an ailment that can apply the spark charge spell can also thereby apply other ailments. Yeah, bleed I, I don't spark know if charges. That's a bug or not? That's it's a little bit like so. Okay. So I don't I don't think it's a bug, but so back in me. the day, okay. Remember when when okay remember when specifically shadow daggers had ailment effectiveness. Sure. It was shadow daggers was an ailment, mm -hmm. right? And ailments shouldn't proc other ailments, right? That sounds stupid. You know what I mean? Like your bleeds aren't proccing other bleeds. So it's mm. kind of like the same kind of concept. It's, it's, yes, it's not, but go ailment, on. The ailment is proccing the shadow dagger spell. Yes. Right? But... And a spell like, is a hit and hits apply ailments. Yeah, I agree. But that was the reasoning back in the day of why, because it had ailment effectiveness as like the, you know, shadow dagger effect, sure, right? Sure. That made no sense back in the day. And now it makes a little bit more sense because the penetration with shadow daggers, that makes sense now. But back in the day before the ailment effect change and all that, it did not make sense at all. Like it's just. It's it, just it didn't make sense that the shadow dagger effect scaled down how many hits you needed to proc it. That, yeah, that's like, the part I, that didn't make yeah, sense. There's just so much. There's so much that doesn't make sense with that, that like what, what is supposed to make sense, right? Like, like I said, the devs even think that like shadow daggers aren't like a main damaging like skill. Like, I don't like, I don't know what's supposed to be anything. That, that, that was a really old, old quotation. We should get, I know, that's a very old quotation. We, we should get a, like an updated uh, statement I, from yeah. EHG on shadow daggers, but they should, yeah. they should be like a primary I agree. source. I, I would, yeah, we should, we got to go harass Mike, I guess. <laughs> Dear Mike, I am very angry. Well, I asked Mike because we had that conversation earlier on stream, right? So I literally went to the yeah, dev yeah. tree, instantly asked him, hey, Mike, are shadow daggers supposed to apply ailments? And he's like, uh, I think they're supposed to, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm like, yeah, you know, I could see Mike a year ago telling me no because he thought it, they couldn't. <laughs> and it's like, the thing is, it's like, it doesn't matter if it works or not, if that makes sense. It matters what they intend. Like for oh, instance, totally agree with you. Like if they don't intend elemental pen to have seven times as modifier, then elemental pen isn't supposed to have it, right? Yes. Stuff yeah. like that. Like like that's like the thing. Like oh, just because it works in game doesn't mean that was the intention. Now I, and that's I usually I, why I go by what the devs say in this regard, and that's why I thought that because I I that's need what they told I me. need to pause right here because we're so yes. close to when this happened, and I got I got to clarify. Go right ahead, Mike. The developer, the guy who does yes. the, the Friday mm -hmm. streams. Yeah. Nicest guy. Way yeah, too nice. Way, way too nice for this world. He's way too nice, yes. The the fact that he answers every yeah. single question and he answers it on Discord, he answers it on stream. And like you and I are both streamers. We know that yeah. like your brain is all over the place and you don't mm -hmm. always have perfect information. Yeah, exactly. He he answers every single question. Like you ask him a question, you're like, you hold it, you hold his feet to the fire, you're like, oh Mike, whatever you say is true. <laughs> he's he's way well, too nice he's so the, the problem is is like my, my the problem is right in this regard is if what the devs if the devs don't know what is correct then how are we supposed to know right? it, it should like, be like, like if the devs don't know while they're yeah. not streaming while they're not being harassed like yeah like we there's like there's like so many problems when it comes to this right Listen, and that if, just truly shows how bugged the game is right now it may be 1.0 might not be a good idea or not i don't no, know it's happening one point is happening. happening and end of this year done lock it yeah. in yeah i can't I wait hope we have a i hope we have the version of runic invocation that the devs intended by then <laughs> If, if they if they back off a of falconer or warlock they, 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 they can't possibly right falconer or warlock yeah. they're gonna happen right mm -hmm. yeah what's gonna be the bug that we complain about let's fast forward end of this calendar year december 1.0 rules out mm. we got the podcast hey welcome back for episode 47 what's what, what's gonna be the bug? i can't what, what? believe that the falcon can die why I can't did they believe that i can put 
the lightning wolf's helmet on my squirrel build and like triple my already infinite amounts of damage oh you think that bug is still gonna be there <laughs> well i mean i'll be honest <laughs> with you i don't think squirrels are the first thing on their mind currently considering that squirrels hasn't been touched for almost a year but, like is, is like snapshot gonna be there in 1.0 right? well so i have a friend who codes and I've actually talked to the devs about this as well, like Mike specifically. And it's not so simple cut. Even in Path of Exile, there are ways that it happens. Like, for instance, recently in Path of Exile Land, there was a kind of like a situation where reverse snapshotting was happening, where instead of like snapshot, like instead of casting something and then casting something with a duration, you were doing it the other way where you were casting something with a duration, then casting the buff, which is, like, causing, like, ridiculous amounts of damage, like, infinite amounts of damage. So, like, th in this regard, I don't think snapshotting will ever go away entirely. They, they can do things, like, make your minions resummon themselves when mm -hmm. you do anything, stuff like that. That can work, but from what I heard, it is a system systematic problem with the system itself like it's like literally ingrained in there like it's not like like if they wanted to fix it they would have to rework everything right mm -hmm. if that makes sense like i remember when poe did it they had to rework everything just just to get rid of it right it's like I, it's i've, I've just, recently uh... <laughs> told people stories about path of exile and like mm -hmm. putting on all of your blood magic gear having all of your yep. auras turned on mm -hmm. and then changing your entire skill tree and putting all your new gear on instead where everything snapshotted like that yeah. used to be a thing that you could and do then you that. died and they were very sad and then you had to do the whole <laughs> thing again and it was terrible yeah yeah, yeah and I, I think that's going to be something that will keep coming back no matter what no matter what we think or whatever it's just going to keep coming back <laughs> uh, i hate it so I'm, much <laughs> yeah what 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 has been your most annoying bug over the last week most annoying bug that i've had to deal with over the past week um I don't feel like I've played with too many bugs. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I talk about like doors yeah. taking too long to spawn? We've complained about that a yeah. couple times in the podcast. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Doors. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh. You know what? How about this one? We we were just talking recently about runic invocations that hit a whole bunch. And yeah. I, oh yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. This this is a good one. one. Yeah. The lightning one. <laughs> uh, we were talking about the lightning, lightning, lightning invocation because of the contest. It was something that I was interested in doing. Um, my understanding of the LLL invocation is that it only applies on hit effects once. Yeah, it, it, at the beginning of its duration. Yeah, but like it's it's a bunch of small hits, so it should apply on yeah. hits multiple times, but it only yeah. applies on hits once. But my problem with that is my problem with that. Okay, like this is my problem with like, that. What, what's your problem with that? Is because remember back in the day when Flame Burst was nerfed. You remember that? Uh, how sure. Okay, okay. The flame burst ailments it applies are affected by ailment effectiveness. That yeah. is the only case in the entire game where ailments are like that. Where ailments right? are affected by ailment effects? Yeah, or like, well, the, the chance to apply the, the yeah. flame burst tax. So, uh, should, does Flurry do that? Like, Flurry does do that, yes. Okay. And like those two are the only situations where that that happens. Right? Okay. So my question is, are they going to do the same thing for stuff like lightning, 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 which hits a bunch like that? Mm -hmm. or they, like, like, because it has a sixty percent, like sixty percent added damage effectiveness. Does yeah. it have a hundred percent ailment effectiveness? Like, what's going on with that? Is that going to make you have a less chance to apply spark charges? Like, what's going on with that? Um, doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> not, not, not to just sit here and and well actually yeah. you. But doesn't no, Blade Storm from uh, Blade Umbra Blades also have? Oh yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, you're <laughs> you right. see, okay. well, okay. actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the other one. Yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hold on, I got something for this. You see, <laughs> well, actually, it's a uh, Blade Storm from Umbra Blades. Does the same thing. Yeah, it's like Spirit Thorns does Thorn. too. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. But my problem is, is like, well, that has added damage effectiveness in the less like does it have less ailment effectiveness like yes i, I can't remember it, it and does. like and you you mentioned this you mentioned like these three yeah. or four skills that have like the less uh le yeah. less than 100 percent ailment effect chance whatever but could we get um something like earthquake to have bonus ailment effects yeah i agree I, yeah come why, on why just make it, that happen the negative way yeah yeah exactly. like, like why all, is it, why only, is it only negative, negative? 
Like yeah, every once in a while, that, we talk just, about like we talk it's, about. It's the, like what I think of when I think of the lightning, lightning, lightning. I'm like, wow, this hits so many times per second and all yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I want to bleed with that. it. Yeah, I wonder if it's affected by that. And it's just like, oh my god. Oh, speaking of bugs, uh, we can talk about a fun one. So, did you know that storm orbs either they have they can't proc it or they have an insanely low chance? Mean tornado. Of it. Yeah, in Tornado, okay. Storm Orbs cannot or have very low chance in proccing Thorn Totem on hit idols. No, I, <laughs> so I didn't know that. So if you go test it uh, for some reason, but then you put in the lightning, lightning works just fine. So what happened was I was having Jay, he was playing a build for me. He was playing the upheaval totem pop. Mm -hmm. Where bear setup mm -hmm. that I played back in the day. He was updating it for me because Mike finally confirmed and we finally confirmed it in game that if you convert upheaval to cold, the totem pop explosion will also get converted to cold and also work with all the cold pen and cool, upheaval cool, train and all good. that. So you can go with a staff and get an insane amount of cold pen for your, sure. your totem pops and all that. Well, it, we were trying to use the gloves, the, the fire tornado gloves, right? Mm -hmm. And we, Put in Storm Orb because like, oh my god, Storm Orb hits four times per second. That's gonna proc Thorn Totems easily, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then we tried it with the lightning and it worked all of a sudden. It's like what why does Storm Orb not work? It's a hit. Well, you know, like lightning works. But then the thing is, right, was back in the day I played that meteor werebear setup, right? And the reason why I was so confused about it was well, I used lightning tornado and storm orb tornado mm -hmm. to proc meteors on crit and if i'm mistake if i'm not mistaken the the storm orb crits were proccing the tornado so why is thorn totem not proccing from storm orb but critting with storm orb proccing meteor like what like why listen why to, to express just a tiny bit of solidarity oh, it with can the people... proc on storm orbs it has a reduction of chance but where is the <laughs> <laughs> where is it listed <laughs> see this is the prop it's the same thing with the lll it's the same thing yeah it's the same thing where is it nowhere. listed nowhere thank, right? you. <laughs> thank you all right so so what you're saying is like for instance if you're somehow got a warpath build with a thorn totem on hit idol it would have a less chance of applying said thorn totem like summoning it <laughs> like what i i want to express solidarity with people who are listening or, or watching right now yeah i zoned out for like one second yeah. during that explanation and i got lost i was i, know, I, was, I, I was trying so yeah. hard it's okay yeah that's that's, that's that's how complicated we're getting it's like that's why it was funny when you guys were laughing at me earlier about not knowing about the shadow dagger stuff i'm like well does well, anything clearly else no make sense so <laughs> it, it's interesting what valinov is saying in chat i'm like i, I trust yeah. what valinov is saying like he tests a lot of stuff and he plays a lot of so weird why does it work he plays a lot of weird shaman not... builds so it doesn't work so you can play like bleed tornado off of storm orbs and you get like yeah. full damage and it's really good and you know whatever but the fact that it's re it's reduced just for s for procs just for like, procs yeah like wow cool yeah, like cool it's not even on le tools yeah that's why i wouldn't have known <laughs> uh. <laughs> i wonder if mike knows the answer <laughs> uh no do not do not ask mike about this. i would not like ask this mike this could be something it. that you submit as a bug this could be something that you tell I know. To, i'm teasing I'm yeah teasing. like don't the poor I mike would. he's just he's I, I out try, I try to not harass him as much as possible. I try to not harass him. He's uh, he's I, out I there being the public yeah. facing developer, hyping up the game, talking to new yeah. players. You can't just slide in the, there and be like, "Hey, yeah. Mike, what's the square?" We root had an of interesting 16? conversation the other day about Wait. the uh, Dreadshade snapshotting, though. Did you know that Dreadshade, when you cast it, if you have like the Infernal Shades with like the Lich's Scorn, it snapshots the damage to when it is cast, and then if you lose Infernal Shades afterwards, it's gone. It that that like, sounds a lot like off. a minion build. So no, I do yeah. I do not know that. <laughs> Well, if you hold alt, it tells you. Uh. That, like, who who does that? Like, <laughs> we tell people all the time: just click G and read the in-game guide. Hold down alt, read your skills. Are you telling me that you don't read the in-game guide? Yeah. Do you? No, it's just there's so many things. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. The fact that I didn't know that about the reduced of, uh, reduced chance to like summon Thorn Totem, I'm gonna tell Jay that, and he's gonna flip his shit. Mm. 
Because <laughs> he's like, I was just getting unlucky. No, it's just the game being dumb. There's there's another good question in chat. This is something we discovered already. Mm -hmm. The uh the the chance to repeat cast in your runic invocation it lies to you. It's not repeat. It's actually yeah. a chance to double cast. Yep. And you you can't the wording, you can't you, would you can't double, double could cast. cast it multiple times. Which yeah. by the way, which in my humble opinion, I think it would be completely fair if it did that. Oh, me I don't too. Think, oh, like, first be that'd wrong. be so cool if you yeah, could build up enough cool. runic, uh, runic energy and have it cast like four times. Imagine doing fire, 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 and hitting like three times. That'd Maybe be then you could awesome. That should mob. absolutely be in the game for yeah. runic invocation. Maybe then you could kill the white mob. Wow. <laughs> There's a different yeah. bug with that. You can't just dump on fire, fire, fire. It's bugged. Be, be no, nice I, to fire, I, fire, I, fire. I, it's just a joke about runic invocation. Listen, in fire, general. fire, fire never hurt anybody. Just <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be nice Maybe to one it. Day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. So we, uh, I, for not having a topic for the podcast, I feel like we have a lot to talk about. I well, just I mean, we're, the, we're venting. The, the we're elemental right. penetration multiplied by seven. That's like kind of Why a big seven? thing. Yeah, why? What? Is, yeah. What? What? Like double? I would make make sense. Like multiply by ten. Like maybe the decimals oh, in the wrong place. Ojin, just to reiterate, TLDR. It says repeat. It's supposed to say double cast. We have no idea why it says repeat. You will only ever get one extra cast, even if you go over like two hundred percent or whatever. Unfortunate. Yeah unfortunate 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 <laughs> the unfortunate <laughs> podcast episode 35 yeah yeah anytime ojin uh, but yeah uh yeah all right yeah it's just this is the kind of thing like it's like you know that feeling that like when like reality just like gives way under your feet and you're just like well what is this anymore what is that anymore like all this knowledge that i've accrued over the last four years playing le and like working so hard to understand the game at a uh, insular level so no, that this, you know, i can this make is, builds and this stuff. is the it's prize like, that you get for having a good yeah. understanding the, these, yeah. these are like these are like the deep inside jokes about last epoch like yeah. you, you finally like you you understand everything like the nitty gritty you played this build that worked you played this build that didn't work and now you finally get to make jokes about tornado yeah. storm orbs having reduced proc chance for other skills but not for ailments like that's it's not the best yeah. punchline but it's a punch so crazy it's good uh because <laughs> like the thing is i was planning on playing <clears throat> I was planning on playing, uh, like, reviving Flame Burst because it turns out that node that puts a duration on Holy Aura and it only turns on for that duration, mm -hmm. you can get a 100% uptime with that now with cooldown reduction. Wow. And once the Flame Burst stuff is doubled, that essentially fixes the nerf that was placed to remove Flame Burst Warpath from the game. So you could do that that is a build and that's that's, a build that's that not a bad idea playing. okay yeah and you could do that and it would work now like i said at this point i'm severely doubting that it works properly due to everything we've <laughs> talked about recently but i'm going to try at the very least because you know you just got to try it you know I've, <laughs> I've i've got i've got more content dude i've got i've got more mm -hmm. stuff to complain about there are some nodes that were recently shown to me. Another uh, Twitch streamer, his name is The Curse. And he was showing mm. off the bugs that he's discovered with Lightning Blast. And oh boy, boy, oh boy, he's got oh boy. some bugs that he's discovered. <laughs> nice hat. Finally, the hat. Somebody remind me after this podcast done. I didn't go buy my hat. Someone asked, so I thought might as well. <laughs> so the, uh, the bugs he discovered is... The node in Lightning Blast that says you can cast it a negative mana, but it no longer chains. Yeah. It turns uh. out it does. It does still chain. <laughs> so you can cast it a negative mana. So for example, you can juice up the mana oh. cost. You can juice up the mana cost with a whole bunch of chains and then take the convergence node and stack a whole bunch of cast speed and then just keep casting. Oh, and speaking of bugs. It's actually, so good. We forgot about the premier bug of the patch. Oh my God. Tell Harry. me. Remember, sacrifice. I mean, sacrifice. Well, it's not a bug, but it's unintended. It's like the, 17 it's different bugs mana. wearing a trench coat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like that build. It was like 2,300. I got to log in and check. He was at 2,300 in the arena. I wonder if he kept going. Oh, he, like, oh, oh, I saw that yeah. person. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't think they're like, I mean, they're online too. They're not notepadding. They're just, yeah. you know, infinite ward, infinite damage, whatever. Um, 
<laughs> I, the the first iteration of that build that I saw was actually during one of my build contests that I was hosting. Somebody submitted yeah. that build. They ended up winning second place. Yeah, Misty, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. stopped at 2,330. Okay. Oh. So, so the... if you don't know what's happening, chat, um, essentially, TLDR, when you have cycles of putrescence, whenever you have your zombie rings, whenever you summon the zombies, it does not cast, it does not cost mana. But, but, when you cast sacrifice inside the zombie tree, it does cost mana. Oh, it consumes mana. Yeah, it consumes your mana. And it doesn't have a tag like every other proc in existence at this point that says specifically you cannot keep proccing into negative mana. Like you, like this does not cast if you have negative mana. Like or Runic Invocation, for example, proc yeah. off a of Flame mm -hmm. Rush doesn't cast if it's going to send you negative. Yeah. It does not have that line specifically because zombies is an old skill before this ring was invented. And that means that you can have zombies that are constantly casting sacrifice and constantly putting you into the negative mana to ridiculous amounts. You can get to like, remember those old like avalanche shaman builds that would like use earthquake mm -hmm. and go to like six negative Like triple or quadruple negative, yeah. Yeah, well, you can get significantly more with that with the uh, zombie setup. And essentially, uh, there's a thing, there's a new rep, like experimental ethics that gives you like 12 ward per missing 10 mana when you use a, a, tra a traversal skill, right? And it turns out transplant is zero mana. So you use one transplant you get like 20k ward in one click like like don't get me wrong i understand ehg like transplant it was op they nerfed it but now it's fine completely fine totally the, the first iteration of this build that i saw was from that contest the first clip, yeah like before i looked at the build plan then they like, incorporated infernal shade which hit the whole screen and then yeah so I, I, I loaded up the video, I was looking at it, and like this person walked into a tier four jeweler, they had like a hundred ward or second, like like ward per second stuff going on. So they had like a hundred ward and like a thousand health. And then they, yeah. they transplanted and their ward went to twenty two thousand. It's so, like wait and, a minute. And then wait this is minute. using the other bug, if I'm not mistaken, where if you have a ghost maker equipped, right? Whenever you kill an enemy and create more infernal shades. It does not count towards the max amount of infernal shades that you have. So if you're oh. in the arena and you have your infernal shades killing enemies and they're making more infernal shades with your ghost maker, you can have infinite amounts of infernal shades. And if I'm not mistaken, it's some kind of version. I don't know if he's using the ghost maker, but Zekker told me that like that would be the most efficient version of the build but they might just be using the infernal shade node inside zombies and that might not go against the what it was it called like the cooldown or whatever i think yeah this node yeah infernal shade on a chance on death yeah that's yeah. One. yeah it does not seem like as though that cares about your max amount either which is funny to be honest um <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how this ring could cause so many different bugs to be shown like instantly. It's amazing. I like, mean, any, honest, anything I that enables a loop. One. Yeah. Like you're going in a circle of summoning these things. Like it's, it's what do you mean begging going in to circles? be exploited? You could turn on Numlock on his, uh, he could go turn on Numlock and like go make a sandwich and come back and be fine. But I, I mean, like, I mean, like is. loops, not literally running. In oh, circles. yeah. I mean, he's going to have fruit loops while he's like having the gameplay please, itself. Please, please. <laughs> It's just like that, that's just like ridiculous. I, I, it's, like the thing is, is like it's so unbelievably ridiculous and stupid that it goes from being okay in the beginning. It's like if it's a bug and it's like an annoying bug, like oh this isn't proc. I'm like ah oh, angry, and then like it's even worse, right? Where like it causes like imbalances in the game, right? And they're like even more angry. But then when it's this stupid, this ridiculous, it's albeit just entertaining to watch. Cool. <laughs> and like how, Duh. how, how is EG supposed to find all of these? I know. They're, they're, I know. they're not going to find everything. Yeah. Like yeah, it happens. It happens once. It's not their fault. Fixed. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, I think kissing or, or someone, one of the devs told us that they already had like 10,000 reports from that report a bug feature in the game. It was like 10,000 or something like that. Best, <laughs> best feature in the game. Yeah. Best but part the of the game. Is, is like, I, I feel bad for the bug testers because they're just going to be looking through all these and just like, 
what? Because uh-huh. <laughs> there's so many of them. Like, it, there's so many support tickets. <laughs> I, I don't know how they're going to get through them all. Listen, and, sub- submitting a bug on the forums before, we used to, like, like draw yeah. straws to see who had to do it. It was a painful yeah. process, submitting bugs. Like, now it's just, like, it takes 10 seconds. It's so, so nice. Yeah. And, like, the thing is, like... I don't know, because, like, I know Wilson was, like, bugged on release, and it caused the game to, like, flop because of that, right? Wilson had some pretty extreme bugs. Yeah, like, all these bugs that we're finding, it's, like, it's all just a bunch of, like, little, small little things, you know? Like, like, like things that wouldn't, like, necessarily be bad outright, it's just, but then, like, we're just stacking them all, like a Tower of Jenga, and they're, like, is it gonna fall eventually, you know? The, the, <laughs> like, the things, the things that would be damning would be, like, you can't complete dungeon. Yeah. Like, that happened I mean, for that, offline. You can't do it! Yeah, like, yeah. that was, that, that was a bug. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that's, that would be a really yeah. big bug, like, people can't play the game. But, like, most of the bugs we've been complaining about we're still playing the game. We're still having fun. We're still making characters. Like we're still going through the motions. We're still farming. We're having a good time. There's just also these bugs that are happening. And like, I, I think if that happens at one point, it's fine. I yeah. hope they don't. Yeah. But I don't it's think. Be fine. I, like my thing is, is like with like what we were saying earlier. It's like, at this point, it's any man's game. At this point, with how many bugs are in the game, it's just like well, what it's the wild west at this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like become like comfortable that I testing. We're stuff. solid and fine and functioning properly. Pulled out of the rug under me. Like I, I don't know what to do anymore in that regard. I felt safe before. Now it's just like it's like anything can happen at any moment. <laughs> kind of exciting. It is a little exciting, to be fair. Yeah. It makes me have a lot of fun hosting these yeah. uh, these build contests because like I think I know what's going to happen. You get then... to find stuff like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Like we yeah. we have people who hang out in in like, probably your chat as well, but like my Discord, my Twitch, mm. and they're just like, "What about this? What about this? Have you tested this yet? Have you tested well, this yet?" I'm a very proponent to like finding bugs and talking about them, but not using them per se. If that makes sense. Sure. It's like as soon as I find a bug, I'm like in like for instance. Uh, the other day, I think I found a bug with ice thorns, and I was like, "Okay, all right, hands off, not playing ice thorns anymore." And then I just moved on to a different. Oh, thing. you just want and your YouTube videos to last for more than one week? I mean, yeah, that would be oh, great, man. right? Good point. I good mean, point. yeah. I mean, also, like, the thing is, my thing is, is, like, I don't really care if other people mess with bugs. Like, I thought it was hilarious watching Mistia delete T Four Drill like that, but it's just like, in terms, yeah, it's like I don't want to make a bunch of like, because that's not the like, you gotta think of it like this, right? I like when you type in last epoch, my stuff shows up, right? I am like when people want to play, oh, I want to play a fire or a golem build, mm-hmm. like a new player. They're like, oh, I want to play this. How does this work? And they look it up on YouTube and they find my video, right? Would it, would, would it be a disservice to them if it was filled with bugs and riddled with problems and all mm-hmm. that, like that and stuff like that? Like, I'm technically one of the front facing figures for the game sadly mm-hmm. i don't want to be but just the nature of my work it happens <laughs> yeah right? me me neither yeah. i don't want to be either. yeah <laughs> yeah well i mean no my thing is just like well i i don't want to be the person that is up there if that makes sense like i, I i'm fine with being in the background but yeah oh well, we were just talking to lone star mcfluffin about this as well and like he's part of the maxwell mm. team he was doing some diablo 4 stuff and he was talking yeah. about like some kind of build there that if he had incorporated a, a bug, he would have gotten like way more views on his build guide. But because he didn't, well, his build has more longevity, but it also has like much fewer views. And like he's yeah. been punished for that. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it does suck. Yes. Yeah. You I've found been another bug. Trying to take the high road in this regard. Well, can we can trying. we rename the podcast? Call it "I Just Found Another Bug." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is I mean, this is the nature of early access, right? It's just my problem. It's is true. Like, the problem is when 1.0 comes and they remove that, if they rip off that early access tag, right? Uh, I don't really care. I know you don't really care. Like that random person buying the game, are mm-hmm. they going to care? That's the question, right? Yeah, like, like new new care? players coming from different games, reviewers, people on Steam forums. Yeah, all, all kinds of people like that. Yeah, imagine if like that dungeon bug was in 1.0. And you had oh, someone that's a huge offline. bug. You can't play the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It's like... And my problem is, is like that probably will happen in some respect when Mm -hmm. 1.0 comes. But it's like that's just that's the growing pains. Like, for instance, in Path of Exile, I know you know this because you played that long ago. But like, remember when like um, latency was like the biggest 
problem ever. Like, like just being able to know where your character actually is on screen was actually questionable, right? Like with the, the latency and stuff mm -hmm. and the rubber banding and all that. Like, I think Last Epoch is going to go through some of those growing pains. And that's this is, yeah, we're already seeing the signs of it. That's back when POE <laughs> was balanced. Yeah. POE was balanced back in my day when uh <laughs> when when your clear speed was limited by using a movement skill twice in a row because you would rubber band back yeah yeah oh boy. hard hard <laughs> limits on clear speed because of rubber banding the good old days <laughs> <laughs> well uh, i think i think what about call, call it quits there we're just yeah, shy yeah, of yeah. an hour for the podcast here and you know mm -hmm. we're not we're not having the a perfect script of what we're going to talk about today we certainly have a lot of stuff on our mind, so I yeah. appreciate you taking the time out of your evening to share with me here, Dread, the other folks, folks here anytime. In, anytime. Uh, in chat as well. If you are watching this podcast on YouTube or Spotify, be sure to let me know where you're watching it so we can make sure that you are having the best viewing experience possible. If you're watching here live on Twitch, appreciate you being here as well. Dread, I'll see you next time, yep. and have a good night. I'm going to go spend some more time being wrong about Shadow Daggers oh for my a God. bit. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>